my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're going to be talking about this new palette from Lorac. It's the Unzipped Ocean Sunset Palette. They did come out with three new unzipped palettes. I ordered two of them. I also ordered the Desert Sunset Palette. So I will be doing a video all about that one, the Desert Palette as well. But today we're just talking about Ocean. I'm gonna give you all the product info. We're gonna do swatches and I'll also show you how I got this eye look using this palette. The palette is available at Ulta and the Lorac website. I'm not sure if these will pop up at Kohl's eventually. Lorac does sell a lot of their products through Kohl's, but this is not available on the Kohl's website yet. Like the other unzipped palettes, it retails for $42, and it does come with this mini behind the scenes eyeshadow primer. This is the outer packaging that the palette and the primer come in, and you will notice that the shades are pictured on the back. The palette itself is really beautiful. It has this gorgeous kind of metallic ombre look. Unlike the other unzipped palettes, you'll see that the top has these kind of panels, and they are flexible. So as you can see, when you open the palette, the top cover kind of flexes and peels back. Not gonna lie, when I first opened this, I thought I broke it because I didn't know that these weren't like solid. So for that reason, you'll see there's no mirror inside. Of course, this feature would not work if there was a mirror in this palette. There are 10 shades in here. There's one very glittery shade. There's one that's more of a satin, and then there are four mattes and four shimmers. We're gonna go to the swatches now. I always do finger swatches and brush swatches. I'll be swatching on the back of my hand with the finger swatches on top and then the brush swatches below. For my brush swatches, I use just this plain old e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, and I clean off in between each shade with my Vera Mona color switch. Here we have the top row from the palette. This first shade is called Mother of Pearl. It's a very icy white shade, and it does apply better with the finger than with a brush, although I used it with a brush today on my inner corners, and I feel like it really showed up well. Next, we have the glitter shade. This one's called Salt Water, and as you can see, this applies much better with the finger. So I would definitely recommend not using a brush with this shade, though it is really stunning and a really unique shade. Next we have Ocean Floor, which is a light, almost rosy tan color. This one is Horizon, and it is a peachy orange. It's a matte. Here we have one of the shimmer shades. This one's called Sea Urchin, and it is a very deep purple. Here's the bottom row from the palette, and can we just talk about these brush swatches? Honestly, they look exactly like the finger swatches. Oh my gosh, how? This medium brown is called Bedrock. This is a matte. Another matte, this is Sundown, and this is like a light pinky orchid shade. This gorgeous gold is called Sandbar. Then we have this really pretty matte kind of berry pink shade. This one's called High Tide. And lastly, this navy blue, this one's called Stingray. And this is a satin, but it really performs like a matte in my opinion. Now that you've seen the swatches, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow tutorial and then I'll give you all my thoughts on this palette at the end. I'm starting off with my all time favorite eye base. It's my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I'm just going to use this to prime my eyelids and since this palette doesn't have a light matte shade, I just used my translucent setting powder to set that paint pot base down. Now it's time for the fun part. We're going to use the Ocean Sunset palette and I'm using the shade Sundown as my transition shade. I'm just dusting that really lightly all through my crease and this shade is super pigmented. All of the shades are super pigmented, so you just want to take your time building and blending these colors out. Next, I'm going to add the shade High Tide to the outer part of my eyelid, and I'm not bringing this into my crease at all. I'm making sure I stay well below the crease and just really carefully building that shade up because, as you'll see, it is quite bright and quite pigmented. When this shade is layered, it has some serious punch. Next, I'm gonna use the shade Ocean Floor. I just took that on my finger and patted it all over the inner half of my eyelid. And I'm gonna go to my inner corner highlight now. 
I used the shade Mother of Pearl on a little detail brush and I just dusted that all inside the inner corner and a little bit along the upper and lower lash line. Next I'm going to work with the shade Bedrock and I'm using a really skinny flat brush and I'm packing that shade really tightly along the lash line on the outer half of the lower lid and also along the lash line on my upper lid. This will give me a kind of faux liner effect without adding any eyeliner to this eye look. Then we're going to blend that shade out on the lower lash line using Horizon. On a little bit thicker flat brush, I'm just going to kind of give a smoky, smudgy look to the bottom lash line. And I felt like this look just needed a little bit more punch, so I took the shade Sandbar on my finger and added that right to the middle of my eyelid so I would get a really shiny gold reflection there. Then I just added a little bit of L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara after curling my lashes, and that's the finished look. I think it's fun and bright without being too in your face, still really wearable, yet colorful. I don't even know what to say about this palette. I should not be surprised, but every time I try a Lorac palette, I am just reminded of how freaking good their eyeshadows are. I have nothing but good things to say about this palette. These shadows are pigmented, they're really blendable, they're so easy to work with, and honestly, who else has been waiting for a palette that's different? Look, you know I love my warm tones, I love my neutrals, but this is exciting. This is something different. This is something I don't have in my collection. And I still find this to be a very wearable shade selection. I think you can get a lot of different looks from this. I think that there's everything from wearable everyday to really dramatic, fun, colorful, or even like sultry, smoky combinations that you could come up with here. It's a great shade selection. It's the perfect mix of different finishes. I'm really having a hard time finding anything negative to say about this palette. Just, I gotta be real with you, this is not the kind of thing that I typically go for, and when I saw all three of these new palettes, I thought for sure the Desert Sunset was gonna be the one that would steal my heart. That one has more of those warm tones. But I have to say, I am so in love with this palette. I do feel that I need to mention, if you're not familiar with Lorac shadows, they are very soft, they're very pigmented, and that means that there tends to be some fallout, particularly with that really glittery shade called Saltwater. However, in my opinion, that is not a sign of a bad shadow. That's actually a good sign to me because that means that the shade is going to be super pigmented. So if you're a beginner with eyeshadow, just beware there is a lot of fallout with these. You may want to take some time to practice with them, and you may choose to do your eyeshadow before your face makeup. But other than that, this, mm, it's so good. I mean, I'm absolutely gushing about it. I'm really excited. It's been a long time since a palette came out that was interesting and up to par quality wise with beautiful packaging. It's just, you don't always get all of those. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more looks with this palette. I'm really excited to keep playing with it. Also be on the lookout for the swatch video of the desert sunset that will be coming up soon. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I could do that all day. I'm probably gonna break this palette from playing with it so much. Hmm, <laughs> what a weirdo. Okay. So, so good. I'm just so happy. I love this palette so much. This palette is freaking amazing. It's so good. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Let's watch it up. How, how are you so good? How? <sighs> okay, calm down, it's just swatches. <sighs> I wish I had more coffee. <laughs> Whoever invented tinted lip balm deserves a Nobel Peace Prize. Dramatic much? <laughs>